This is the story of an American college student, Bernadette, and her friend, Jesus. Like most college students, Bernadette and Jesus take classes, study for exams, and pursue activities on campus outside of the classroom. Things like sports, clubs, and also talking with students about ideas that they believe in. Ideas like freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and also the idea that babies are people with inherent rights, like the right to life. You see, Bernadette and Jesus are what we would call pro-life and they are members of the Student Club Fresno State Students for Life. So one bright sunny day in May, Bernadette and Jesus did what many students at Fresno State University do. They chalked messages explaining their beliefs on the sidewalk near the library on the campus of Fresno State, a public university funded by taxpayer dollars. Bernadette's and Jesus' messages said things like, love them both, choose life, and pregnant, Need help? Call 800-712-HELP. And, quoting Dr. Seuss, a person is a person, no matter how small. Scandalous, right? Now, before Bernadette and Jesus wrote their life-affirming messages, they received permission from university officials. So they were in the clear. Well, not so fast. On that bright sunny day in May, an assistant professor of public health at Fresno State Greg Thatcher, stopped them. When Bernadette told him she had permission, he announced that he would return shortly and erase the messages. And that's exactly what he did. Assistant Professor Thatcher instructed students in his 8 a.m. class to join him in defacing and erasing the pro-life messages. One of his students even stole Bernadette's and Jesus's chalk to write pro-abortion messages on the sidewalk. When Bernadette confronted them, Assistant Professor Thatcher again informed Bernadette that she had no right to chalk messages on the sidewalk near the library, and Bernadette again informed him that she had received official university permission. In response, Assistant Professor Thatcher personally erased the life-affirming messages and proclaimed that, quote, college campuses are not free speech areas. Free speech is free speech in the free speech area. It's a pretty simple concept, he said. Fresno State doesn't have a free speech area. It is a free speech area. Like, all of it. You see, people like Assistant Professor Thatcher don't like that the Constitution protects speech that they disagree with. And that's okay. What's not okay is that Assistant Professor Thatcher, a government official, acted to prevent students from engaging in speech that he disagrees with. Which is why they asked for help from Alliance Defending Freedom. Thatcher was sued in federal court in California, and it did not go well for Assistant Professor Thatcher. The court prohibited him from interfering with Fresno State Students for Life's expressive activities and from directing other students to do so. As a result, to this day, Fresno State Students for Life are able to share their life-affirming messages with other students, and Assistant Professor Thatcher can't do anything about it. The end. As part of the settlement, Assistant Professor Thatcher was ordered to pay legal fees and damages to Bernadette and Jesus and undergo First Amendment training. While Bernadette and Jesus won their case, Threats to free speech are happening on college campuses. And Bernadette and Jesus made a difference that day. An expectant mother who saw the sidewalk messages talked to the club and decided to keep her baby.